Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the second generation iPod Touch using the red snow method. Some people do not know how to do it or have tried and can't do it. But today I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. But first we need, just to make sure what you have got, we need a Macintosh computer with running Leopard. We need the second generation iPod Touch, obviously, the USB cable, and you need to know how to put it into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it or look on YouTube or something like that. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds and then release the power button and hold the home button for 10 seconds. And then let it go, and then it's in DFU mode. Now, what we need to do first is we need to download the two files in the video description, which are the IPSW, the 2.21 IPSW, and the other one is the jailbreak pack that I put together with modified purge tool and other little files which we need. Now, at the moment, the it's only a tether jailbreak, so every time you want to turn it on, you need to have your computer near you, so you can obviously type in the commands to turn it on. But it, I don't really turn mine off anyway. I just press the lock button, it's a bit easier. Um, some of the steps I'm going to be skipping with you because I don't want to jailbreak my iPod Touch again because I've already done that now right so once you've downloaded the files we need to go to the 2G jailbreak pack wherever you downloaded it to it doesn't matter open it up now we should get all these files and the RS light folder like that um, once you have downloaded all that, the first thing you want to do is open Darwin Ports. Once you get this open, then you need to go on to Mac Ports. And now you need to install this. Next, continue, agree. Now, it won't let me install this because I've already installed it, so I'm not going to. And next thing you want to do, once you've done that, is install libusb. In fact, they're both useful programs and we need them anyway, so we might as well go through it with you. don't know if it'll let me install this with you again. Okay, so... I don't want to do that because it might mess up mine. And the next thing you want to do after those two is get the RS Lite folder, just make sure I think, yeah, and copy it to your desktop. Is that right? Yeah. And now, the next thing you want to do is open Punnage tool. Wait a second, my computer does take a it's time up on this. Okay, so once you've got that, you just press OK. Nothing important. This is important though. You must press expert mode. And then you must press on iPod Touch. And then blue arrow over here. Once you've got that, it will search for the IPSW. If it does not find it, then don't worry. Just Double on browse or IPSW and it itself. And this is the second link, by the way, that you downloaded. Now, mine should find it on the zone because I've done this a few times. Okay, so once you've got that, click on it, then 
blue arrow again and then we want to go into custom logos and remove both of those ticks make sure they're not ticked otherwise your iPod will not work then press the blue arrow and then build now I'm not going to do this because it wastes time and I do not need it because I've already done my iPod touch so I'm going to quit that like so now once you've done that you're going to need to know how to put your iPod into DFU mode now to do this you I have already told you but it's hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds make sure your iPod's turned off by the way and then once you have hold it down for 10 seconds release the power button only and keep your finger on the home button for another 10 seconds make sure your cable is plugged into your computer while doing this so ready 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 release the power button 6 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Mess that up a little bit then, but it shouldn't really matter. Now, we need to enter some commands in terminal. Now, I'm sure you know about open terminal, just do search for spotlight, then terminal. You should get it eventually. And then click on that, and then you get this. It might not look like that, I get customized mine a bit. Now, basically, we need to enter these commands by here just to make sure it's connected the RS light make sure it's connected and if it says it'll say Apple mobile DFU mode if it's not connected it'll say not connected now I'm not going to do this because you put my iPod into a mode we'll have to restore it so once you've done all that you should get iTunes pop up um, I'll make it come up because I haven't entered those other commands. Now, once iTunes comes up, which shouldn't be long. Sorry about this, my boot has gone slowly this week. And once you get that, you want to go on to. Oh. And then you should get this list little pop up. If you don't, then you need to do it again. Except from the bridge tool part. Now press OK on that. Now you want to hold down Alt and click on Restore. You should get this little pop up thing. Now browse for your IPSW, which you made from Punnage tool, not the one you downloaded, the one you made. And it should have Google Custom in it if you haven't renamed it already. Now click on that and then click Open, and then you should be able to restore it. Now I'm not going to do mine because I've already done it. And once you've done that, you should, it should say your iPod will now reboot, but it won't. So don't worry about that. All you got to do <coughs> is copy down these commands that are in in the video description anyway which is so I'm on the third one already because I've already done the first two now your iPod screen by the third one the iPod screen should turn white which mine's turn black but it doesn't matter I don't think so get that and then that and then and then that and then the last one yep now I've got the the Apple boot logo I will now show you. 
just quit items if he's annoying me. Now, once you put with your iPod Touch, you should get um, a little pop-up saying "dismiss." I can't remember what it exactly says. Sorry. Now, 